while. Looks like we are going to Oasis, though. Yeah, but well, that was, uh, I mean, that was the last one that was at, so at least now we're comfortable. Uh, However, Oasis. Uh, a map that these teams will have been practicing a heck of a lot. We've been seeing so much Oasis recently. As well. Heck of a lot. Uh, <laughs> heck of a lot. I think we played Oasis once before this game. On that, uh, on University, we'd love to see the, the um, Sombra coming out. It's like Lindsay Kai's coach said, oh, there's no reason to practice Oasis because, like, it doesn't matter, like, how much you practice it. It's always RNG. Like, your shit either works or doesn't work. MP it's just a random map. She really is sort of flavor of the meta at the moment, ever since Twilight played it. That's right. And, uh, let's finally meet it. Timer. 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 Oh. <laughs> so, I'm teasing. I'm least favorite map. Uh, and in talking to the reason they told us why is because they can't use I'm watching myself. <laughs> yeah. So who's probably gonna have to like some of the team on this fight? Definitely impossible to the Roadhog as well. Will we get it again? A rerun get it. NBS is gonna be a lot more comfortable with as we move into game number one. Tell your friends to get in this stream. This is NBS's opening match. We are going to go into game number one right here, right now on OSU. Game Arena, number one Arena. I'm moving my head like, <clears throat> like I did after winning that one game. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it. Let's see. I get it. <laughs> and we are still fighting! Meta fighting! I was expecting a little bit of extra for, for Meta Retainer, but still envious. Meta Retainer? Fucking Atlas, it's so funny. Momo, thanks for the 100 bits. Lead up to that, so <laughs> even chanting for them in English there, so getting pretty hyped yeah. for the Western team here. I'm surprised we didn't have uh, <coughs> just the happy birthday effect, but, or happy birthday uh, Atlas. <laughs> I was surprised that wasn't the case either. Okay, oh, wait. So let's take a look at these compositions as we get out the gate. Mickey will be saying on his trademark Diva. Meta is Dana going back. Why are we playing Monkey here? I didn't even remember we played Monkey. I think we were supposed to play Reinhardt. I think that's a communication is issue. Oh, uh, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Like, we should have definitely had Reinhardt there. And... I, ca I guess we kind of expected them to play 2-2-2 two, two, two because we watched their odds. And Meta Atina was playing 2-2-2 two, two, two only against the other team. But I guess... Because this is the same comp they ran against us in Season 1, right? Like, this is the exact same comp. They just like, Hoon, Alpha, and Libera are so good at keeping each other alive. Like, they completely just like, stack e stack to each other, let Saya player do, do what he wants, and then Noose and Chris are basically just trying to boop and keep them alive. And if you crush their backline, like, their tanks will die at some point, but if you focus the tanks, you just die. And this is this is what they actually want. The Meta Atenas comp is made to kill me and Coco. Like it's a direct counter to Roadhog. It's a direct counter to other tanks. To play like to easily destroy this comp is to play either two 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 or one three two, and just kill their backline and you win. That's how you win. You just kill their supports and you win. But tank. we didn't. We definitely didn't expect it. And it took a while for us to understand during the game what the fuck to do. Yep. So they, they, it's, <laughs> it's the Zarya effect, right? And this is their weakest map because they say they can't use Zarya very right. well here. Good they have to come out though is Alpha's already picked up a kill with that flame strike. Effect got picked off. So this is the first uh, really important, obviously, because you get the edge. That's control point maps work. I mean, I had some like my hands were shaking so hard this map. I don't know why. I was just like out of the game. It's like. I played some, we didn't scrim before the matches, we just played some ranked, and I was, I played like six games, I played so bad, I felt like I was like, not me at all, I, I just, my hands were shaking, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go to the stage for the first time ever, and shit like this, I was playing so bad. It's much easier to defend 
without using your ults then taking. It's going to be a nice edge here. Looks like it's going to go over to meta. Athena Envious will give up control. This is dangerous as well. Giving FS Galul. Yeah, and just BM the effect guy. Like, look, look, look what happens. Every, every time you try to... <coughs> every time you try to focus their tanks, it's either a shield from Hoon, or shield from Alpha, or a Matrix from Libero. There's no way you can kill their tanks. They always stack up. Even during the fight, even during the fights, they're always together. They're always together. And if if somehow Hoon, Hoon or Alpha gets left alone, Chris always follows up. So Hoon, Alpha, and Libero, they're never alone. They're literally never alone. You can't kill them. It's impossible. I hooked so many people on this map, but I just couldn't kill anybody. And because we were playing, like we actually had a good comp against the against their comp right now. Like our comp is completely fine. You you could just argue me going to something like even though Zarya is fucking shit, right, in this meta. But against this comp, Zarya would be okay. Uh, Soldier would be better than Hog. Because I could flank around the map. Genji would be better, but I'm really bad at Genji, so that's out of the question. And so as well. me so switching to McCree is a band-aid at best. It was just mostly... Our communication was in shambles. Like, we had no idea what to do. Like, we couldn't... We just didn't understand what do we need to do to win. And also... Like normally, Effect plays super aggressive on their backline. He loves to kill their supports, right? But here he's like, "Oh, Coco and Taimu are calling to kill their tanks, so he's gonna shoot the tanks." But <laughs> since it's impossible to kill the tanks, we're just wasting time, and Effect is not being really effective. Choke point where you can get the most value out of it, or maybe use it behind this wall either. It gets hooked, tosses it down. At the same time, it's not eaten by Mickey oh, or three men. That, that, good that's so unlucky. Chips, chips was on the other side of the wall, and he couldn't down. help me at all with the ult. Metro Tiner. Look like it's the meta. They have so many more ults to work with now. It was very efficient for them, really just using the graviton surge there. Those at the end of that fight, who was positioned very safely, just at max range. <coughs> damage, full oh, energy. So much damage. No Hulk feels bad, Harry and Lucia so feels bad. Man. Feels good, yeah, man. Man, the both. Okay, it looks like Tac Fighter come out here. In fact, looking for the flank on the back side here. Not able to find anybody though. Does pop this in oh, Good. Oh, there it is. Good shit. That would have been a double with the pulse bomb, but he managed to kill Sci-Player before it even went off, Wolf. Indeed. That's going to be a nice pick here. This may be the take for Envious. Oh, good sleep though. <clears throat> Self-destruct just tossed in here for the secure. Asleep. They just bumped into each other. That's happened. They, they took a little nap after they yeah, had that I get, I, get, I, get, I get confused sometimes. That's all right. Uh, they're, they're just mm -hmm. resting, that's what mom said, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> um, well, like, right now I'm McCree, yeah, but it's like... For Mickey, if I'm playing McCree against this comp, I have to flank. To and if I don't flank, I'm useless. Still, with which I'm not doing. It's like, I have a Libero on my face all the time. We still won this fight. Because well, so Mickey, Mickey and Coco played well in that fight. They focused the same target. Yeah, in fact, he was really nervous. It was his first land, ex first game on land. Well, look at these players and see whether they're going to be focusing out Mickey here as well. He's going to have to be so necessary. Oh, look at this dropping it from behind. No yeah, one saw it. Oh my it. god, through the wall. One more time. The self destruct easily picks up the double as well. That was. Some old meta plays coming out again with these combo ultimates from Meta Athena. What? Look, Harry didn't get the ult. Me, Chip. Chips didn't get the ult. Mickey got the ult. That was a bug. Right? Yeah, it had to be a bug. Because, because Harry died without getting the ult, but the ult went off. What? 
Okay. Off a little bit late. This is going to be likely the cool. recap for Meta Athena. Nice stagger as well coming in. Yeah, this is really problematic. <clears throat> is really going to have one more shot at this one. And they don't have any ults to make this happen. Look, let's go, let's go back. Well. And this, this is this really bad communication from us. Like, Hoon comes from the right side, okay? So, With another good one here. That's we're holding. They're coming through main. We know that they have Zarya ult. Everything else was like, maybe, no idea. I get forced back from here. Look at these players. Now, we know this area is coming from right, but no, Mickey nobody well. calls it. And now he just so ults. Because Mickey said he's gonna eat the ult, but he didn't know where this area is. And this is also like really bad scouting from us. We have nobody on the other side, so we don't know. Oh, look at this, dropping it from behind. No yeah. And oh they, just get a, the they just get a good One bomb. Time, the self -destruct easily picks up the and Effect got also... Probably just didn't hear it. Double as we're seeing some old meta plays coming out again. Okay, look, 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 look. Harry ults. He dies. But it goes off on everybody else. What is that? It's from meta it's Bullshit. Gonna get picked off a little bit late. This is gonna be likely the recap for Meta Athena. Nice stagger as well coming in. Yeah, this is really problematic. Maybe this is really gonna have one more shot at this one. That's bu that's and some real bullshit, dude. Happen. Kako's gonna be the only one with primal rage. Very effective to buy time, but not everything else. Mickey soon the self destruct. <sighs> Saya getting ready to use this tact visor defensively at the right moment once the Diva suit is down. Oh, oh, well, Timer is just gonna get that shot immediately on the side player. Oh, really good sound barrier to stop that headshot. From oh my god. He's in trouble. I hate Libero so much. By Alpha. Another self destruct coming in, just trying to get them off this point. Okay. It's not really enough to get this fight is one. Effect still running around this point, and you can see now into overtime. MV is trying to get this one. Did we actually need that? Like, I don't, I, I'm not sure if we even needed that. We use chips as all. Okay, so it's four versus six. After liberating all my shots. The skull by Alpha. Another self but drugs coming in, just trying to get what happens? Off this point. So Harry, Harry, and Effect kill Alpha somehow. Okay, Chips is all was needed. He was gonna die to Hoon. Okay. It's not really enough to get to Effect much carries time. this fight. Effect's still running around this point, and you can see now into overtime. MV is trying to get this one back. Like I overextended way too hard that fight. And then effect, effect and Harry carried that fight. Either, which is why things started to go wrong for them. And Sire player going to be the key factor. Libero soon with the self destruct. Boots not going to have graviton, but he may at the end of the fight. Well, once again, Meta Athena looking at Sire player to get this work done. The Nanovisor will be available, but can he get into position to use it is the question. His effect darting around, being frustrating once again. Building up that ult charge. Still has 40% to go though, as Mickey's able to pick up the kill to start this one off. Good beginning to this fight, as there's the Nano actually used onto Hoon. He almost has that Graviton Surge, and now Sire Player getting this flank. Gets chips immediately, and there's the Graviton Surge. That's what they needed. They needed more, they need yes. more though. They get the that was actually so badly played from both teams. Look. So, let's go back. They come in, they've come in for the push. <laughs> so, Hoon gets energy, we spam into the room for no reason, we don't have to, right? We know that they have two ults, they don't have Hoon's ult, so they, they nano boost Hoon because of Mickey and also to give him ult. Position to use it is the question. Is and... Like here, Hoon gets a lot of energy, again, so now he gets now he gets nanoed. But Alpha dies. Then we have chips here. Everybody else is around this side of the point. Then there's two tanks in the middle. Uh, Beginning to this fight is there's the nano actually used onto Hoon. He almost has that Graviton Surge and now Sire Player getting this flank. Oh no. Chips immediately and there's the Graviton Surge. That's what they needed. They needed more. No, they need yes. more though. They get the kill onto Chips already. There goes Harry. 
five. It's really, five. it's actually really hard to see what Mickey did there, but overall, like we were way too split. We pushed into the room after getting a pick. We should have just regrouped into one side, and then either get the get the fuck away from Hoon and force him to do a desperate all into Mickey. And then we didn't sh shut uh, shut off Saya player. He just came around and killed Chips with his own. And Alpha's actually just swinging this hammer around, claiming the lives of Envious. Mm. Only three members alive. Mickey's gonna get out of that suit and get destroyed. Chips the last one. Really bad communication from us. Like, sure, it could have been like, if Mickey played better. Individually, he would have won that fight for us, but it's like our communication was just like, just go, go, go. <laughs> Here, and that's the switchback, Meta Athena. Meta Athena. 99, 99 grabbed themselves the first point. Several of those key engagements uh, just knocked him out of the sky because. Now we expected them to play Farah, so we just went McCree, even though McCree is complete garbage, in my opinion, on this map. Like you, like if they play Diva, like Hoon does. Hoon plays Diva, like Hoon. Hoon's Diva is not that good. Libero's Diva is amazing, right? But like this comp, which they actually play, it's super hard to play against. Like the only target you can really go to is the Lucio when you play when you have Tracer, right? So your monkey and Chaser has to go on the Lucio, they have to kill him really fast, Mickey has to keep both Noose and Libero away from me, and then basically Harry, Harry and Mickey, like Pseudo, has to keep me and Chips alive. And if they can't do that, if we lose the first fight against this comp, it's over. in this best of five. Kaimu is going to be the one to look to do it. We should have gone mid. We should have gone mid. Pretty impressive. Oh yeah. Libero right now they're looking relatively safe. That barrier going It's so weak. I missed like three shots there. With an already help us getting torn apart. God help us dude. Just playing as a unit right now. Everyone stacked on top of each other. Envious doing that sort of dive composition thing where you're spreading everyone out. You're using that mobility effectively and then you collapse in, but they just couldn't find the collapse. Yeah. That's like I was split. There's no way I should go top against that comp. We should have we should have all actually just split. And I should I should have killed Libero instantly. Like if you lose the first fight against this comp without playing Farah yourself, you're just it's fucked. We're coming out for Meta Athena too effectively. So much pressure from Sire Player on the time moon non stop as well, making it a lot more difficult mm. for him to get the shots off. And you know that's the story of Sire Player, as it will be for Effect in the series as well. He's looking for the pick here, but yeah, they're coming in at us all shame. So now we, like, Hoon just keeps Alpha alive, no matter what. Want to bring down? Yeah, the barrier. Going to help save his life there as we well. We got him. We got two. But they have rest. There's the res. Gonna stop any of that from being too much of a problem. And Envious now losing their health bars. Mickey so so close to losing that suit, and there he goes. I don't know. There's re there's really nothing to say. Like, if we lose the first fight of that comp with this comp, without playing for ourselves, we're just we just lose. And it's really unlucky we we got this map instead of the middle. At University could have won. We could have won with like we had a really good comp against their comp. We we just executed really wrong. We should have gone to their back line, ignore the tank line, and we would have won the game or the map. This map, uh, we could have just gone Farah. Like I d I just didn't think that my Farah is good enough yet, so I didn't pick it. And I was like, my Cree might be fine, but this is the only this is the only. Comp we have actually struggled against on Koth. That's, gonna be the big problem. Uh, the that's pretty much it. Just used as more about, yeah. In the more in the more open open map, I think we could have easily won them. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the next map. There's, no, there's nothing so to watch in there. I feel like three damage consistently paired for this already. For the gravity, okay. the second map. Maybe People said I looked tilted. I want to see. Am I looking all tilted? Players, I mean, everyone Korean on the side of Meta Athena, like, you saw the communication was just so on point. Like, as soon as that mech is done, 
that's when the rocket barrages come out. That's when all of the dives come in from this team and they know exactly what they can do. King's Row is going to be our second map. Of course, Meta Athena's pronounced favorite. Time will tell that already, XD. Graviton surge in such high effect, but it's going to be chosen by Envious. This is a bold choice by Envious, considering the results of Meta Athena in the past on this map. And Hoon Zoria here, so definitely going to expect to run into that one on Yeah, the I look pretty tired. Athena. But perhaps this is what Envious has in mind. Maybe they've got a strategy prepared for this already. Because when you go into your opponent's best map, it's usually the map they have the most games shown on. And you can prepare a strat to get behind, get around. Mm. That's yeah. Aria. Win it early before the Graviton surge. That's one okay. more. King Suro. King Suro was actually super close. Even though uh, they struggled attacking the last point. It was super close. But it was... I think we're going to figure out later. Let's see. And we are still fighting. There, Pantera will fight Now that they've won one, Timo now being very, very vocal. Yeah. Not sure what he's saying. Well, would, probably would like comms. Probably discussing the potential Widowmaker here, because they are on attack and we've seen potential the Widowmaker. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Effect is locking it in for the time being, though. So. Better thing here as well, running that triple tank composition once again. Sort no of surprise. less of a surprise on this particular. I don't even like this whole tilt thing is so annoying. Like, I don't tilt in real games. It's literally just like being mad at myself playing shit. Oh shit, we fucked up. We messed up, team. Where is it? Graviton surge, that's one way to deal with it. It's the meta Athena crowd take that. So let's see, Typhoon's gonna drop out the Sonic Arrow immediately at first, but we'll see if he switches to the Widowmaker, because that's what the fan hope is, right? See if he yeah. can pop off. So I play it demonstrating the fact that his mouse sensitivity is set much higher than a lot of. Uh... What were you actually saying there, Typhoon? I can't remember. I was talking about, like, they're gonna play the same shit comp, and it's really easy to be, but we just didn't want to switch. Uh, FPS <laughs> players are. That's right. Or he's able to... Huh? Yeah, on King's Row. No, no, on, King, on King's Row. Like, after Oasis, basically. Just before King's Row. <laughs> <laughs> I just can't kill the fire, motherfucker. No, no, but it's like you can't you can't kill the fire with McCree. It's like you have to play your own fire, or then you have to somehow survive while killing their monkey, Diva, and Lucio, which is not a very easy task. Does it fact speak good English? Not really. You, uh, move his mouse extraordinarily quickly. Yeah, it's Kai Kai talking. Move his mouse pad wall. <laughs> That's right. It's gotta be careful. Alright, here's the all eyes on Taimu. The Sonic Arrow will be tossed out first to get the scout of the composition. That's a, that's a, actually so wait. Switch to. Did I extraordinarily quickly. He's gonna burn his mouse pad wall. So no, look look at Tyler player. Alright, here's the he's all standing. eyes on Taimu. The Sonic Arrow will be tossed out first. Look, first he's standing there. Scout of the that normally kills that's normally a one hundred person kill. But he moves forward. He moves forward and the scatter misses. Oh my god. He moves a bit forward and the scatter misses. That's like, if anybody is in that room, it's a 100 person kill, but he just moved forward. That's actually so fucking unlucky. Oh my god. Damn! This is. They overextended so hard with their tanks and Sire player. Try and get into that back line once again. Not gonna get the pin. Is Alpha. Got a bit of a Reinhardt battle. Showing the shields to one another. Nice, nice, turtle. nice. Oh, there he is. Okay. Cost him his life to be so aggressive there. Doesn't get the pick. They overextended yeah, way they too hard. They got the punished for it. Swing around to this hotel. <laughs> 
is all about Effect just being right up in their grill there as well. So making sure that he can confirm the kill onto Alpha. They've always got to be careful about giving charges like this. When you've got such a good player like Taimu to punish for it. Effect getting secures the kill. Has a pulse bomb already. Looks to drop it. There it is. Nice. It's on the pulse bomb. I mean, so Graviton surge for this fight. This may just simply be the cap for Envious. There oh, it goes. Yeah. Everyone falling down. I see. No opportunities now, and Envy is actually able to start moving this payload with three ultimates already charged up. And this is the difference as to what Taimu can accomplish. When he it, it was it was really, really, really dumb from Meta to push in like that, and they didn't even get any kills. And then Alpha got punished for it. And then also they tried to salvage the point five versus six by nano boosting Hoon. Sure, it gives Hoon all, but it, it is a massive waste to all with that point. With the soldier, yeah. Even without effects hitting the pulse bomb, we would have won that point so no matter what. We had, we were so free. And I feel like a lot of this went totally wrong when Alpha charged. I don't want to oversimplify the situation, but to pick off the Reinhardt, which is the core of your defense on this map early on, is so huge for Envious, and they snowball things from there. Yeah. Find a grenade just to make sure that they don't get too much harassment down here, but Taimu on this high ground. Graviton Surge coming out. There's the Earth Shatter as well, but doesn't really do too much. It's just going to be Coco grabbing the kill onto Alpha. Taimu deals with that mech suit nicely, though. And this frontline... <laughs> Taimu deals with the mech suit nicely, though, and I died to the fucking mech before it dies. Shaking my dick. Like, this was, um... This would have otherwise been really good engagement if Mickey was here. But I told Mickey to be with me because I didn't want to die. It's getting torn up. Good sleep, Dad. Uh, I think if we just stayed together there and we had Mickey to eat, uh, either grab, Nate. Well, the Nate didn't really do anything because he couldn't because we had the shield in front, of him, right? But we just wasted. We wasted Cocozul. We should have had Cocozul for enemy Lucio B. And now they just street. don't sleep on the road. Like they just wreck us. Bad move. Dangerous. And it's dangerous to walk into that Graviton Surge. Chips had the immediate uh, transcends to come out to heal up his team. Yeah, so there was still and we also used Harry's and Chips' old, like, communication issues. It should have been, like, so when you get grabbed and you have both uh, Lucia and Zen old, right? If you can't block the... If you can't block the nade, then you have to lose your ult. If you can block the nade, then you should only use Zen's ult, right? And you can still survive. So that's really bad communication from us. And also Coco wasting his ult. Which is so pretty awful. <laughs> uh, yeah, like you said, just, I think it was just like everybody... It wasn't everybody's nerves because we only had two days of practice before the game, really. And it was a first game on land in a long long while on the side of MBS now Libero's got a self-destruct as well for them an initiation in this fight yeah now the rush that it comes down it's time a decent positioning here to try and get this dead eye but no fix to be found twice Mickey grabs alpha yeah alpha nice. now twice with the charge forward a Taibu helps to get the picks so aggressive this right heart play we've been seeing from him so far He's much more aggressive than his, uh, you know, teammate Changshik, who's on sub right now, has been on the Reinhardt. But in fact, he's been able to grab three kills here. As side play is getting hunted down by his tracer. Alpha just rockets himself in there and sets up the shield, so that is at least going to be able to save the life of the soldier. But in fact, look at how far forward he is, buying so much space for Envious. Yeah, this is going to be such a hard job as a result with the long walk back here. It's almost it looks like it might just be an easy second cap as they move forward. Libero has the self-destruct to try to buy them time. Still a fair way to go, but look at Effect. He's playing with so much room here. Pulse Bomb isn't going to be able to find the target. Doesn't get the stick onto the Ana. As Alpha is able to at least grab his second half. Yeah, there... There the grab came in. Coco died, so there's no way we can block the D-Well. Uh, then we just kept wasting ults. Well, we only used Chips as ult, which isn't that bad. But. Oh my god, the double kill with the combo out from Meta Athena. Bigger bang there. That's going to be a team wipe. They didn't even have to use the Earth Shatter to get Mickey with the late. That was, that was some good well stalling from them. Envious. I called out Libero's 
uh, ult there early. It was actually really well paired with Hoon. They came from two different angles, yeah. making it very difficult for Envious to actually prepare there. Metaratiner. The Transess was used quite early, so not very effective on the defense. <laughs> the fuck is the free oh grapes. Kaiser Kaiser's biggest enemy, grapes. Metaratina just showing so much coordination. <laughs> I died for this. Position look good. They still need to defend for longer. Envious did get so here, now the fight starts when uh, Mickey gets slapped. We are in a big old disadvantage, which we don't really communicate. We know that they don't have Hoon or Libero or News. And we only have Kokozo. A lot of so we... wait. To them by Where the fuck am I, by the way? What the fuck am I doing? Back here, it's almost it looks like it might just be an easy second cap as they move forward. I don't want to see. Libero has the self destruct to try no, to buy the this time. Is the, this is like the last fight, right? Yeah, combo out from the combo. Uh, pull out Libero's uh, ult there early. It was actually really well paired with Hoon. They came from two different angles, yeah. making it very difficult for Envious to actually prepare there. And once again, the transess was used quite early, so not very effective on the mm. defense. Oh, I'm behind Coco. I, I just go, I just go. Left side to long with Harry. So much coordination. So Coco's Coco's pretty much alone here. They still need to defend okay, he has he has Harry. Oh, it was Harry who got slept. Okay. So that that's really unlucky, I guess. By effect in his There's no way we're gonna help Harry. That was really well played. Not able to claim the kills but necessarily as the tag visors come in. <laughs> Of we really salvaged that situation really well, even though Harry got cocked out and died, and we we made them use ults. We only here. used Harry, our uh, Coco's ult here. Still have to give big credit to Cogma. That was that's how you charge. <laughs> I got a pick. Oh, yeah. That's actually how you make it happen. He comes in, gets the pick on the I think we actually win this fight. Looks like it. To push this all the way. Good attack by the came out. Time is gonna go for the second floor dead eye here, but uh, Alpha does protect. Dead eye good old Kappa. Just getting the oh. payload as well. You saw you had a kill available, but didn't actually decide to go for it just to yeah. find that space. Now Envious really starting to put the needles into Meta Athena. Helping to break that Reinhardt shield was where things started to go wrong there for Meta. It's gonna be a several man kill. They're just trying to shove this all the way to the checkpoint. As they continue to stagger the spawns here now of Meta oh Athena. Oh my god, yes, yeah, so much damage, and yeah, exactly. That was actually really well played from us. I don't know what the fuck happened, but... Like... Harry gets caught out. We trade. Then... Somebody else gets picked off, because Kreese was way too late to ult. And then we just stall. Oh, Mickey stalls with his ult. And then Harry comes back in, we have ult. I mean, we have beat, we beat in, we just completely destroy everybody. Exactly right. Very and that's what well. happened. So that is going to be that point taken. Timer really forward positioning behind his Reinhardt shield, just going to try and get through the one of Alpha. Okay, so the big card of the sleeve of Meta Athena here is once again going to be the grab. Like, they used ults, they didn't get any, they didn't get any uh, value from the ults. We regroup, uh, we have a B against no B, and we win. Surge, that's pretty much how it. Getting some intel for his teammates. It could drop down for some heavy pulse bomb damage once he finishes that up. Yeah. Okay, here it comes. He's just gonna come from behind. Uh, Taimu, how do you communicate with effect if you can only barely speak English? It's pretty much just uh, really basic, like really, uh, trying to explain things in a really basic way. And also, like, he doesn't really have to call anything else than who he's focusing sometimes. And, like, then he calls like targets who who he de definitely wants people to kill. So he's like, ah, nah, 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 Ryan, 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 Tracer, no E, and stuff like this. Like really basic, really basic stuff, and it works really well. Gets the Rose angle straight in there. Alpha is going to be able to pick up the first one. Chris to follow up as well. Nicely done by Meta Athena, and they know that as soon as Hoon has the ability to get his ultimate out there. You know it's gonna hit in the right spot. Mm. Uh, we're always gonna see fireworks when this goes down. A little bit of a late transcendence from Chips. And that was expensive for Meta Athena, of course. 
What do you play McCree and King's Row compared to other maps when you played 76? So, I haven't really practiced Mac uh, Soldier at all. So, it's like McCree has been working really well, in a way. And the only thing that, like, well, I'm going to explain it later, but in short, after King's Row, when Meta Athena stopped playing Lucio, Soldier becomes super strong. When there's no Lucio in the game, Soldier gets to flank around the whole enemy team. Like, Soldier has free reign. It doesn't matter if there's a Diva, if there's a monkey. Like, you just run away from them. And they waste time. And then, like, if they don't hunt you down, you have free reign. Like, nobody can really go on you. And you can manipulate the map. Especially, like, in Volsky, you see, like... I go from top left to top right. I can actually go close sometimes. I can I can pretty much do anything I want. But with McCree, you you don't have you're not mobile. If you actually get dove by a monkey and uh, diva, even if you even if they don't have a Lucia, there's no way you can survive, right? If they want to talk Korean, let them talk Korean, dude. I mean, you use that there as their trump card, but they will have another one built up very likely before the push finishes. But yeah, just... like McCree, McCree has been working really really well against uh, one tank, triple, triple DPS and 2-2-2 two, two, two. but Meta Athena is playing the triple tank without hog which is literally they have perfected this comp so, so this comp is really bad against dive their comp is super bad against dive if their backline gets dove there's nothing they can do but we just don't know the answer what to do at this point so we're really just trying to outskill them, and their comp is ho solely made to kill our tanks. So Hoon has a lot of energy all the time. He just focuses Mickey all the time, and Liberal Alpha Hoon trio with Chris sometimes helping them. And basically, these four players, Alpha, Liberal, Hoon, Chris, are keeping each other alive. Like there's no way you can focus the tanks. No matter what you play, you have to ignore the tanks. You have to go for the Anna, the McCree, and sometimes the Lucio when he's out of the position, right? So dive comp is the best thing you can play against this. And appeal for himself as he throws out another dead eye. Shield is going to be up and available. Side play going down extraordinarily low as well after he switched to the McCree himself. Good stun. Uh, who finds so many awesome. kills onto her? Exactly right. And his shield timings, everything like that, as soon as any focuses on him, he's able to take down the mech already. Gets the baby diva as well as Libro is able to take this, down This is just a like, really bad overwatch from us because we still have Coco on Reinhardt. We should have had Coco on Monkey. Or even me. Even even if I went Monkey at this point, because we have a Zen, it's completely fine as long as Zen stays alive. But that's really, really hard to do, right? Uh, like even even me playing Winston at this point wouldn't have been bad. stave off this attack once again. A minute and a half we just envious to make it quite a distance, honestly, here on King's Road. <laughs> and this is like the most basic shit. Like we can't see the Reinhardt, and everybody runs in without without even scouting. Bam. That's the most basic thing. If you don't see a shield in there, you know the Reinhardt is not there. You can't walk the into those. Oh my well. god. Those, it's fucking painful to watch. If you don't have the awareness of where the if Rhine you is, walk you... into an earthquake, you're gonna have a bad time. Well, yeah, that's right. And that was a bad time there for Envious. It totally shut that push down, buying so much more time for Meta Athena to prevent the full push. Deadeye comes out here as well. Four side players. He has built that one up. Not actually gonna offer oh. was up and available, Harry was so just able to actually take any <laughs> fuck. so much harassment actually here for the Yeah, this false one did actually fly out. Harry Hook's able to grab Alpha there. You mentioned that his harassment was going down as multitudes of ultimates are flying through that Graviton surge, not exactly doing what Meta Athena needed it to, and they're falling. They're being punished for it. Two down is gonna be three. It's gonna help them push around this corner to get Alpha. I think overall, like, even if we play an inferior comp, like, we should have still won, like, based off our skills. Like, we 
we had really bad old management. Like, I think this is like, I play really bad. Chips ha doesn't have a really good game. Coco doesn't really have a good game. It's mostly we just get outskilled. Taimu oh. with a good aim. Very frustrating Lucio plays for aggressive. Like the only times I don't get right clicked on Libero, so I actually get to do damage. From Harry Hook, the ex DPS player. Better Athena will be alive again to try and save this one off, but that has bought so much distance. 50 meters now for Envious to make this payload get to the end. So many ults to help this as well. Okay, we're gonna see the nano cowboy here coming out. Yeah, I didn't I didn't want this nano. That was just random. I think I think it was Chips want the nano effect, but he died, so he just nanoed me in panic. And there's there's nothing I can do. I wasted three seconds of the nano ulting. I get nothing because Diva, lol. Harry gets a Harry gets a sick boop on Alpha. But it doesn't matter. Like we don't have control of the left side. Hoon is just spamming for free, like 100 energy. How do we get? Timer is able to capitalize. Libero doing the same thing. Self destruct comes down as well. Meta Athena will not lose this one without a. Here. Here I should have gone more aggressive. I should have killed the diva before she gets a new mech. Fight, because Envious can't necessarily find their way in to get any more of these picks and hold off this point. Hoon is just such a beast in the front line as well. Cyplayer gets the stun onto Mickey. And they're just trying to keep him alive for as long as possible. Get that yeah. stagger. And that was that was really painful to watch. Holy fuck! <sighs> Our old management was so bad. <laughs> Oh my god. We would have and uh, letting Alpha get a massive shadow from behind like felt like there was no there was no scouting. There was barely any management of ults, just random ults. Ulting at the same time Chips and Harry. Coco ulting shields or like green force. Me just playing Macri when I should play, like ra uh, monkey. <sighs> Painful to watch. And stop the overtime. That is going to be the payload right at the front door, but not quite through. Well, yeah, so I a player. We didn't have his first person view there, but he did a ton of damage. He was very well protected. Once Mickey dropped down the Earth Shatter, he had a lot of room to work with. Even though that was looking, the the self destruct was looking to actually kill him. But while he was in dead eye, but he didn't die, actually survived through that damage, he was far enough away, and then just kind of carried that fight afterwards. It was really well done though by Envious to actually knock out Alpha of the fight, break his shield using Taimu's dead eye, then send in the self-destruct afterwards, but it still wasn't enough to get that full push. But still, a pretty Plain side, you guys don't have any good answer for Hunzaria beside Bill's Palm. That's not th that's not the thing, like you can't focus the tanks. Against that comp, you can't focus the tanks. You are not supposed to. That's what they want you to do, right? They want you to try and kill Hoon, but it's impossible because there's so many things that, like, keeps him alive. If you try to focus the D.Va, Hoon and Alpha and Chris keeps him alive. If you try to focus Alpha and the rest keep them alive. It's like, uh, they want you to shoot Hoon, so he gets energy, he gets heal, so Noos gets, uh, more nanos. And more nanos means more um, ults to Hoon, so more graviton surges. So the whole comp is designed to sp bay the kill the tanks. You're not supposed to shoot the tanks. And it's like, if we realized this earlier, Coco should have gone to Monkey. I could have stayed McCree. It doesn't even matter at that point. It, it, it's like, you can beat that comp with 5 versus 6. <laughs> like if you have a tracer, monkey, diva, they just jump the back line, kill, kill McCree, kill Anna. Oh, you won. Wow. We just got debated, dude. As we sides here. Would yeah. Hog be better than McCree? No, because you can't kill the tanks. You can't go, like in these maps when they're 
there's corridors, right? Sure, you can flank, but you have to get the kill. But there's always a diva to save. There's always a diva and a bubble to save the people who get hooked. So it's even more energy to hoon. So hog is a really it's a bait pick. If you pick hog against that, you basically lost already. And we'll see if hoon wants to keep the Zarya on attack. In in um in maps that are big or open when they're staying so together and trying to focus Coco or and Mickey and trying to bait to shoot the hoon then hog is actually good because you can go behind you can get hooks then they have to scatter and then you have effect playing chaser and just destroying them you know that would be pretty aggressive to actually try to make that team okay to 10 like Mickey says I'd be excited I mean you still have the opportunity of uh, getting the, the graviton uh, pulse through the wall uh, around the uh, the statue at the beginning, you know, all that sort of stuff. Does some tools. You can't pair with Coco's uh, Earth Shatter as often as I feel like you should be potentially in terms of these fights. So, see what we're going to run here on attack. The Chris on the Lucio. Moon's still going to be running that. Sorry, he wants to make this work. Yeah, this triple tank coming out once. We actually thought about it at this point, right? We have never played Monkey on defense, like Monkey D on defense, but we. I kind of wanted to gamble. I want I wanted Cocker to go monkey, which would have been the perfect counter to this comp. But he decided not to, so we just agreed, just play Reinhardt. It kind of works, why not? Again, we saw a player on the McCree this time instead of the Soldier or the Tracer. Saw him at the end of the last round, but uh, Andrea dropped out pushier from the high. I'm not sure what happens here. He has yeah, with these control compositions, you do want to be staying together like that. Though. What is Harry doing there? Oh, Harry said he's going to boop them down. <laughs> you what, mate? With these coordinated moves, the side player already able to grab the first pick. Here for Meta Athena. Why would you do that? Harry Hook's aggressive harassment ends up being uh, the other side of the double-edged sword this time. It does get picked off. Setting themselves up now on the point, though, as Libero goes a little bit rogue. Gets himself in there. Sire player, that fade away. The Sire player is in, so is in a spawn. <laughs> Backflips off the <laughs> second yeah, no, right. It's like a Jedi or something. <laughs> okay, Effect drops down the poles, picks oh, up a double. double! Holy fuck, Effect is weird. That was dude. really well placed there. I have to... Like, he's abusing the overpoweredness of Tracer to the max. Sailor, he is not disappointed so far on the Tracer. What a gamer, the dude. Angles of these pulse bombs. And the harasser, somebody's he's just left to do so much free damage because of the positioning. He hides and then comes in when no one expects him. Yeah. Better <laughs> though, you can see it. <laughs> what do I answer this guy? He's so low. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's up. incredibly low, but he survives throughout all of this. It means that Hoon can bait better with his shield, you know? Gets in there, it's like, oh, now they know. I know they're going to go for me now. Boost here. Timing on those shields is so so good there as well as you can see. Envious have been well and truly pushed back. Chips got picked. Man advantage available for Meta Athena. Flank Earth Shatter. This is not really the position to use it. X picks off the. Own this is the same same problem all the time, right? We don't have the monkey. There's nothing to go on their back line. We're forced to shoot their tanks. Here I flank, so I just get a fucking D on my face. Only DPS on this team. That is so so important. As Libero is looking for him, but. Now it was enough Whoa. to deal with it. Eventually he gets taken down. Well, that was unfortunately for Taibo a pretty ineffective attack visor. Oh, no shit, because he was in the game. Yeah, uh, fight does... seeing a few of those recently. Yeah, the fight does uh, end up in MBS's favor. They buy some time here, push the cart back into that doorway. Yeah, and self-destruct used. The Graviton Surge as well, just not very effective usage of ults on either side, but I think this is a positive trade for Envious. Yeah, Coco actually used that Earth Shatter as well and didn't get too much for it. Zalpha is setting himself up to try and defend in this street space. See if he charges for it. He's been doing that a lot. Okay, just all try for it, but misses <laughs> actually the shield. It was good there on the side of Coco. Alpha going very, very aggressive. Right in, <laughs> on, in on this fuck? fight. Chris staying back on the point, just trying to stop effect. Being Go away! He was able to grab the pick with the fire strike and Hoon. Great positioning. 92% on the charge. Just <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I need to disable whispers. Fuck that. Hey. Uh. How do I?
Disable the whispers. Help. Help. Disable the whispers. Help. Thank God. I need to do it on both computers for some reason. I literally got 25 million fucking whispers. Fuck you guys. <laughs> Where's disabled whispers here? Uh Oh, damn it, that helped a lot. Play Hearthstone. I know. It's good shit. Okay. Let's watch again. People, he is with this laser beam. He is buzzing like crazy. Full energy there. He's buzzing like crazy. He's protecting Alpha for so long as well. Yeah. He makes Zarya look like a DPS and not a tank. So when you talk about the triple tank of Yeah, maybe this is a 2 2 2 composition. Feels look. like it, right? Just really incredible shield usage. Maintaining such high energy non stop. Yes. And this is the Hoon Zarya that we've come to know and love. Despite the fact that it's so off better right now. Well, Chris, Nusk is going to get taken down there by Timer, who had a great position. He did need to invest the attack visor into it, though. As Hoon grabs the double kill, both supports destroyed by the Zarya, and this guy is... Uh, this is really unlucky. Like, I uh, I got baited into the ult. We, we lost the fight anyway, because Hoon just got nano out and killed everybody. Proving exactly what he said in the... Ah, uh, I hate it, because <laughs> we should have just gone monkey. <laughs> it's, like, so easy to counter. Oh, we were so stubborn oh, at the right hand. You will see my I I have old. I'm gonna stay. Zarya, it, it Cuckoo! Cool. Cool. Come back and destroy the set. That's, and there's nothing to watch there. The it was literally the same thing over and over again. We just shot the shields, gave him energy, couldn't kill the tanks. We just kept focusing the tanks for no reason. Oh wait, actually, there's one thing. When Mickey goes wonky, look look how much easier things ca become. I think it's around here. Zarya, it, it will still be good. He looks emotionless as well. Yeah, as he, he is a machine. He's, He's a, a machine. Uh, you know, at first it looked like perhaps that. Okay, side there. Mickey, Mickey goes monkey now. He has, it's just always at 80. We're seeing it right now. There's a kill with the self destruct. Libero actually playing super aggressively. Picks up the immobile. We, we, we lose because we didn't use oh, ults. And, and we overextended. But. On this lack of on the, side of the next fight is easy. Looks like this push will potentially be successful, but still. Like. Who no, who overextends? Say, good sleep on Hoon, actually. Well, he wanted to go down and drop that graviton in the front. Oh, and the two-man stun with the earth shatter. No, oh, try to follow up. The graviton surge comes in. This is what he wanted. Look at this damage coming out. Full energy once again, just keeping them. Now we have a monkey and a chaser just demolishing their backline when their tanks are not the there. Sun, they're three point nine eight meters away from the push. Sire player. Oh the God, picks. envious. That answer as well. Mech goes down. Alpha destroyed like, as well. Effects and Mickey oh, are carrying this the now. But now we don't have a diva, which is a big problem. Like we don't have a diva for for uh, Hoon's ults or a side player, or we don't even have like we're for, when we don't have a diva like this. If when we have a comp like this. Like, we're forced to go. There's nothing else we can do. Like, if we don't go on the Ana, there's nothing to block heals, there's nothing to block Hoon's uh, bolts. And, sure, it gives Coco a bit more free space, but still, playing right now in this comp is really fucking stupid. Avatar coming over. And he really forces that, but actually forced Envious to waste several ults, and all looked lost until Effect came around with the double there. Actually, nice looking for the pick on the Saiya, nearly gets it. Feels Unfortunately, like Melee's late after the dash, so he can't actually finish off that kill. Oh, Taimo as well, he's able to help grab one as the front line from him. I jumped on the top of the, on top of the thing with... 
Rocket. Doing so much work here. Three already dead. And Chris is going to suicide over the end. Menorathina just. They want to try this one more time. Looks like finally. Uh, we're seeing effects. We actually cool almost hold, hold this, right? Like a, really every fight. Look what happened. Next down. fight, too. This is what we're expecting, right? Every and fight happens the same way now. Come back and destroy in a second. Effect and Mickey go into the back line. They just demolish their supports. Will have several tools for the attack I just want to see how we so lost this. Effect playing so well, man. Yeah, gets that pick as well, most notably. Six versus five now. As Meta Athena are trying to do what they can, but Mickey just punches Alpha in the face. And again, this is going to be envious. Hold Effect and Mickey playing so well. Fuck. And off on this fight. There he gets the kill there on the baby diva. As Effect is just looking once again for the high ground harass on the Alpha, who's just always charging forward. <laughs> yeah, exactly just one right. of the faster uh, run back here. Okay, now, now the big thing is, when Meta Athena's ults come online, because we don't have anything to help the, help the grab, so we're forced to scatter, which is not good, because Mickey and Coco overall should be pretty much together because if Coco isn't there he's basically just a shield bot and I'm not I'm not behind Coco uh, I'm not behind Coco because I'm so far away Harry should be <coughs> in middle of Coco and me I guess and Chip is just casually like super far away hitting shit and then Mickey and Effect are just killing their backline but when they actually get a nano, when they get a visor, when they get a visor and a nano, there's nothing we can do. I think that's that's the point where we lose. I think that's how we lose. This is why we should have Diva. If we had Diva, this would have been won by far. This would have been a 100% win. Just constantly harassing to get the pulse bomb up. So many ults available here for NBS in just a moment. Well, Effect able to grab side play there as well, so important. Like, Effect and Mickey so are playing out of their mind. Athena. Chris answers as Effect is eventually dealt with. Of course, Lucio is surprisingly good at dealing with that with the Tracer, as there's the Nano Visor coming out from Timer, who's getting a lot of damage into Meta Athena in this choke point around the corner. Okay, they just need to make sure they don't get split here with their spawns, because they're going to have some I don't know what Harry here's was the doing there. Coming in the bigger bang. Oh, oh my god. That's what they were looking for. Now Saya finishes off his tack visor. Oh, and Effect only right. just respawned and immediately goes down. We've got three meters as Meta Athena are piling. All right, coming out one by one. There's the Earth. He's so old and Milo. They're just stopping them in their tracks over and over again. Effect coming in for the harass now. It needs to slow this down. Coco's going to get to the point here. Effect actually now with a bit of protection. But look at the shields coming out from Meta Athena. C9. 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 Like Cloud nine. Kai Kai curse. They were trying to deal with Alpha there. <laughs> was Kai Kai is watching next to me, so I had to BM him. Even though it's at the Kai Kai curse, they started doing C9 after Kai Kai left. Um, you got removed. Had such Unlucky. a solid defense repeatedly there, but once the combo came out, it feels like that's what NBS is really struggling to deal with. Yeah. Big, bigger bang. <laughs> Come to curse. Combos and it's like Meta Athena isn't isn't looking good. They're not looking good. We're just looking like shit. Like it's literally the whole story of these first two maps. It's like our confidence is like. Even though I thought earlier that it's nerves on effect, he was playing fucking well. He was still carrying on that King's Row. But it was just like not listening to calls, not really managing ults really well. And then on the last part, again, not having the diva hurt us really bad. We just we just died to a Takwiser Nano Zarya with Grav and Diva bomb, which could have all been avoided by either better positioning or then just having a diva in the short way, like super easily. Unlucky.